All right, hi everybody. Welcome to another episode, episode 14 of Virtual Companion Camp here at Houston Humane Society. So today I have a really cool episode. I am sharing our mascot, Lizzie's story. So if you see, here's Lizzie. Lizzie, Ooh. <laughs> here's a little treat for Lizzie. <laughs> She is a 10 year old Bichon Frise, and she looks kind of like a poodle, but she is called a Bichon Frise. So that is a French breed. The word Frise is um, French for curly. So she's a curly haired lap dog. She's super sweet. And come here, Lizzie. There's something very special about her, which is that uh, she has three legs. So she came to us. There she goes. And she's missing her uh, back leg over here on this side. So there's her, a shot of her missing back leg. And as you can see though, she's very mobile. She can still do everything that a four-legged dog can do. Run, jump. Um, so she, yeah, having three legs doesn't really um, impede a dog at all. Um, Lizzie, she's a pretty famous girl. She's even been featured in some magazines. So this is Dogs and Cats magazine and that's Lizzie on the cover. So she has a pretty amazing um, rescue story. She was brought to us um, about seven years ago and she had a really bad injury on her back leg, on her paw, and it was um, really badly hurt, um, infected, and when they uh, came to us, we saw that it was so uh, bad that her foot couldn't be repaired. So we did have to amputate her leg. Come here, Lizzie. <laughs> Lizzie, let me give her another treat. And she loves treats. So she's our mascot, which means that um, we decided to keep her as our own pet here at Houston Humane Society. And she goes on all types of outings with me. She goes to elementary schools. She goes and meets all types of um, cool people and places. She's our representative and goes um, on outings with us. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a pet ID for your dog. And I made this one for Lizzie. Now, it is currently National Pet ID Week. Um, so we want to emphasize how important it is to have um, an ID for your dog. This includes a collar with the dog's name and the phone number um, that you guys have on their collar. And also, it's very important to get a microchip for your dog. Now, when people think of a microchip, they think, oh, is it something big like maybe <laughs> a uh, a computer chip or something like that but it is so small that it can be given just with a shot so if you can imagine the tiny hole of a needle for a shot that's how tiny it is so it doesn't um, require any type of surgery to put a microchip in your dog and um, we do do uh, microchipping here at Houston Humane Society so <clears throat> And the microchip is a way that in case um, the collar or tag gets lost, if your dog is ever lost, um, you can take them to any vet office or um, rescue or shelter, and they'll be able to read the chip, which is placed here at the back of their neck, and they'll find the phone number and give you a call if your pet is lost. So it's a um, really important way to make sure your pet is always safe, no matter what, even if their collar comes off for some reason. So here I have um, created a driver's license for Lizzie, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. So all you're gonna need is some markers, uh, maybe a ruler if you have one, a pencil and an eraser. So the first thing you're gonna need is your pencil and your ruler. And so for the top, the title includes the state name and the words dog driver license. Okay, so if you guys are in another state, um, California, Illinois, Wisconsin, wherever, just Google image your driver's license. There's Lizzie loves to do that. And here I'm going to write 
really big the name of the state that you live in. So we live in Texas, so I drew a big Texas that I'm gonna write dog, driver, license. And when you're done making these for your pets, even your dog or your cat, hamster, guinea pig, whatever you have, you can um, put them up maybe next to the dog's kennel or cage. And then in the corner over here, it's gonna be the country. And our country is United States of America, USA for short, and underneath that, the state's initials, and we're TX. All right, so we have a lot of important information to put on a driver's license. Um, the first one is gonna be the headshot of your dog. So I'm gonna block off a third of the page right here. And I'm just, you can use a ruler or not, it really doesn't matter. But I'm just gonna make a big square, about a third of the page, and this is where you can draw your picture of your dog. Um, so make sure you have some markers that are the color of your dog, brown, gray, black, or even if you wanna get creative and do something fun, you can make your dog rainbow. No one's stopping you. Okay, so now for the important information. So on a driver's license, one of the most important things is how to contact you. So we have two phone numbers, that's PH1 and PH2. And for Lizzie, those are the phone numbers for Houston Humane Society. So if she ever gets lost um, on the collar microchip and on Lizzie's microchip, it has um, our phone number. So you guys are gonna put PH1 and PH2 and then put your phone number here. Underneath PH1 and PH2 for the phone numbers, D-O-B, that's date of birth. So Lizzie's is October 25th, 2009. So she is almost, uh, she's 10 years old, almost gonna be 11. And then over here in this side, we're gonna put information about the dog. So the class. This is what um, kind of animal you have. If you have a dog, you would put canine, C-A-N-I-N-E. -E. If you have a cat, you would put feline, that's F-E-L-I-N-E. -E. Guinea pig, whatever kind of animal you have. And then underneath that, I'm gonna put her breed. Remember I told you Lizzie is a Bichon Frise. Bichon, B-I-C-H-O-N space F-R-I-S-E. The word for curly in French. All right, and then right here is her, gonna be her, your pet's name really big. So I'm gonna put a big L, I, Z, Z, I, E. And I did all caps. Underneath that, I'm gonna put um, Houston Humane Society's address. So this will be the address for your animal. And we are located at 14700 Almeda. L-A-L-M-E-D-A -A Road, R-D. Houston, H-O-U-S-T-O-N, comma, Texas, T-X. And then our zip code, 77053. All right, that's where we're located. I'll meet uh, 14700 Almeda Road, Houston, Texas, 77053. So this is our address. If Lizzie ever gets lost, this is where to take her. And then under that, we're just gonna put the fun information. So the information about how she looks. So underneath here, there's HT for height. And I measured Lizzie with this ruler earlier today and she, um, <laughs> When she stands up, um, this isn't how long she is, but how tall she is when she stands up. Come here, Liz. So, she looks to be about as tall as the ruler at her front leg, so I just put 12 inches. And if you have a big dog, you might have to get two rulers together or ask your uh, parents for some measuring tape. And then underneath that, I'm gonna put her weight. 
WGT is the initials for weight. And if you don't know your pet's weight, look at their um, medical records and maybe it will say, um, ask your parents for the vet records, it will say their weight. And if you don't have that, maybe you guys can um, do a fun experiment trying to get your pet on a scale at home. But Lizzie weighs 16 pounds. And to initial uh, pounds is LBS, that's what stands for pounds. And I put her height in inches, so I N for inches. Um, other information about her is her sex. So she is F for female. And if she was a male, I would put an M. And then I'm gonna put her eyes, so her eye color. And let's see, looks like she has brown eyes. So I'm writing brown. And then we need to know what color hair she has. So put hair and white. She has white hair. And then ears. So what kind of ears does she have? Floppy ears, pointy ears. Now Lizzie has floppy, so I'm gonna put floppy. Floppy ears. And then we can even put maybe tail. So she has a long tail. Some dogs have short tails, some dogs have medium length tails. And Lizzie is looking for a treat. Here you go, Lizzie. Lizzie loves to talk. Okay, and the last thing to make a license official is to put the signature underneath. So this is just her name in cursive. So if you don't know how to write in cursive, just get your parents to help you. But there's Lizzie's signature that I made for her. All right, and the last thing to do is to color it in. So that's why I had you guys use pencil first and then color it in, put the marker over it, and then you can use your eraser to erase all of the pencil that you wrote with and give her like any fun background or whatever you wanna do. Brooke says, right. Lizzie wants to play. She sure does. Yeah, she definitely does. She um, gets to be played with all day here at Houston Humane Society by all the people who work here. Here you go, Lizzie. And she loves treats. She is a great dog and she's gonna live her whole life here at Houston Humane Society. So she gets to um, live at the office and meet all the people who come to Houston Humane Society to visit. She goes to all of our meetings too. All right, so now it's time to meet um, one of our adoptable dogs. Um, her name is Marie, we saved her. Um, from a house that had over 200 animals and something very special about her too just like Lizzie is missing a leg while well, the dog we're about to meet is missing an eye so let's go take a look at this cutie here is Marie you can see she did get a surgery so what happened to her she came from a house that was neglecting her with two over 200 animals in one house so a lot of those and some of the animals were neglect uh they're all neglected and she got an eye infection because of that and it was so bad that her eye was so swollen we actually couldn't save it but just like um how lizzie can um is totally fine with just three legs marie over here is totally fine just with one eye she can still see great and she's a really sweet girl hey marie She's smelling for treats in my hand. And she's um, two years old, and she's some type of pug mix. And she's got a cute little stubby body and stubby legs. Maybe she's a chihuahua pug mix, but she's black with a little uh, white chest, and she's a very, very cute girl. She's energetic and really fun to be around she even went to our prom that was this past friday so check out our facebook page and you can see marie at um prom she has some prom pictures of her she's really cute and she's still available for adoption so make an appointment to come visit all of our adoptable animals and get to meet some cute dogs just like marie She's listening to Lizzie over here. 
and the dogs make some noise. Hi, Marie. Hi, good girl. She's a cutie. And she loves getting scratched and pet, and she would be a great um, dog. She's good with kids. And as far as we can tell, she likes other dogs. So Brooke is asking, can Lizzie do tricks? <laughs> Lizzie can do a couple tricks. Oh, hey, Marie. <laughs> Lizzie knows pretty much sit and down. So I have some treats over here. And let's see if Lizzie will do any treats or tricks for us. While well, she's sitting now, sit. Good girl. I've been working on her to do down, down, down. Good girl. She just learned that a little while ago, so I'm really impressed with her. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Good girl, Lizzie. Down. Down. There you go. Good girl. Yep. She's still learning down, but to teach Lizzie down, um, I got her to sit and then I just moved the treat here to the floor and I gave it to her once she laid, uh, laid down. So it took a while to, um, for her to learn down, but she learned it. And she's old, she's 10 years old, so she's still, you can teach um, old dogs new tricks. All right guys, well that concludes our episode. We hope you enjoyed meeting Lizzie, our famous mascot, Houston Humane Society's mascot. and. Hope you guys have a great day at home. Thanks for tuning in. See you this Wednesday. Bye.